Hello viewers, do you want to know how to use Bandicam for screen and game recording? Well in this video I'm gonna walk you step by step on the entire process, keep watching. Hey viewers, Dyke Wisdom here with No Forever, where we help you maximize your learning capacity with animation and videos, on this channel we make a lot of computer based tutorials, like this one, so if you don't want to miss out on any of our future videos start now by clicking the red subscribe button down there, also turn on the bell notification to get notified anytime I upload a video, now let's dive in straight into the video. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna walk you through the entire process on how to use Bandicam for screen recording and game recording, and at the end of this video I'm gonna show you the best settings to get HD clear recording using Bandicam, with that said let's dive right in. So this is Bandicam right here, and this is the registered version. In this region we have the time display, which is the hour, minutes and seconds. Here is your disk space it shows you how much space is left for you to record, and as you record you will see it that it starts to count and it tells you how many megabytes or gigabytes you are using as you are recording. Up here is just a key to register Bandicam, so if you haven't registered Bandicam well I have a video for you in the cards, it will show you how to register Bandicam for free, you can check it out later on. Now onto the main interface right here. As you can see, this is called the game recording mode, it records games and video players using DirectX, so if you are recording games just click on this one right here, however if you want to record your desktop screen and web videos, use this one right here. Next we have the output folder, now if you click this it will take you to the output folder, where all your recordings are saved. Now as you are recording you can take a screenshot here, to start recording you just press record right here, and when you are in the middle of recording you can just pause your recording right here. Getting to this part right here we have the general, and options, and here the output folder, here we can change where the recordings go, if we click here we can change the output folder location. And below that you can see Bandicam window always on top, if this is checked, Bandicam will show at the top of your videos. Below you will see start Bandicam on minimized tray, if this is checked. Bandicam with start on a minimized tray. And here run Bandicam on Windows startup, so if this is checked, Bandicam will start as soon as you turn on your computer. And here there is an advanced option, so you can just play around with this settings, the output, hooking, language, and others. Now moving over to FPS, as you can see we have the show or hide hotkey the position hotkey and the show FPS overlay. Down here we have the FPS limit hotkey, and set FPS limit. Now over to video we have the record or stop hotkey which you can use to actually start or stop recording, down here we have the pause hotkey, the show mouse cursor, the add click to mouse, and add webcam overlay, now you can click on settings and also you can mess around with this, click here if you want it to record any sound, now on webcam you can add webcam to video, while recording, and here you can select the show mouse cursor, the add click effects, and add mouse highlight, and also, mouse click sound. Now here you can add a logo overlay, if you want to, also you can add a text right here, then in options you can set your recording priority to what you like. Now in images, it's just the same as the video tab, but down here you can select an image format I recommend you using JPEG high quality, and that is all you need to know about Bandicam. Now remember I said at the end of this video I'm gonna show you the best settings to get HD clear recording using Bandicam, this are the exact set. First head over to video, then under format click on settings, under file type select mp4, under size select full size, under fps choose 60, in codec use h264, in quality use 100, with all this settings you will get clear HD video, so now I have a question for you. Do you like using Bandicam for game recording or screen recording, either way let me know down in the comments, right now. Thanks for watching if you liked this video can you give it a thumbs up, 
and also if you want more computer based tutorials like this please subscribe to my channel right now, also don't forget to check out this videos we recommended for you, and I will see you in the next one.